What's going on, Data Devotees? Welcome to Get the Picture, an introduction to efficient, effective, and elegant data visualization. My name is Jameson Crawford, and I'll be your instructor, and I'm the creator of this course, which is brought to you by the Center for the Advancement of Students and Alumni, or the CASA, located at Georgia State University. This video is a quick orientation on how to navigate the material you have before you, what this workshop is about, and a couple tips and tricks to pay attention to as you navigate your way through the material. So without further ado, let's jump right in. So what is this course about? Well, let's head down to the objectives. Not only are you going to learn how to create efficient, effective, and elegant data visualizations, but central to creating data visualizations is the ability to manipulate data and arrange it in a way that's going to be most effective for you to be able to display it graphically or visually. In order to do that, you need to have some sort of fluency in data manipulation software. And in this workshop, we're going to be looking at common spreadsheet software like Microsoft Excel and Google Sheets. You'll learn not only how to format data, but also a few different functions and formulas to be able to prepare your data more quickly, to be able to summarize it statistically. And when we get into the visualization portion of the workshop, you'll be able to decide what visualizations are most appropriate for displaying the variables that you want to show. And lastly, we'll look into the best practices to use in data visualization to be able to clarify, declutter, and ultimately make your visualization publication quality, highly polished, and able to convey your ideas and the stories that you want to tell about your data. The practice data that we'll be using for this workshop predominantly surrounds hip hop. Now, I happen to be uh, a rather avid hip hop enthusiast. What's more, I like data visualization and I love data analytics. Uh, and I really, really am passionate about creating instructional material. So this was really a perfect storm for having a good time, at least for me. I hope it's going to be the same for you when it comes to working with sort of engaging and interesting data that you might not nor normally work with, uh, especially as you go further into uh, undergraduate and eventually graduate school. The three different data sets that we're going to be working with are the greatest hip hop songs of all time. That was according to a survey in 2020 by BBC Music, the largest vocabulary in hip hop, which analyzes the first 35,000 words for a variety of hip hop artists done by The Pudding in 2019. And lastly, platinum hip hop albums by City. We're only going to take a short look at that, but at any rate, those data will be made available. So in this workshop, there are six different assignments, three of which are optional and three of which are required. These are called applied practice assignments and typically they appear at the end of each chapter. The required ones are actually in chapters three, four, and five and they appear at the very end. They take about 20 to 30 minutes to complete, but that also depends on your fluency with spreadsheet software, your familiarity with them, um, and your understanding of the previous text if you've chosen to do the review and preparation chapter. Uh, but what's more, also the amount that you want to push yourself when it comes to creating a really nicely polished publication quality plot um, that's really making your data going to pop. So you can always refer to this chart to see which of these are required and precisely where you can find them. So for example, if we take a look at uh, chapter 4, data visualizations, uh, we can see that the header is called applied practice and it is required. So it's the fourth chapter and it's the sixth header. So if we click on that, there it is, applied practice at the bottom. And that takes you to the assignment. And so in this particular assignment, you are replicating this chart you see in Microsoft Excel, or you're replicating it in Google Sheets. And of course, the data for those are already set up. There's not much hassle that you need to do or manipulation that you need to do with those workbooks um, in order to be able to get those um, immediately ready for visualization. 
And really the amount of time that you're going to be spending is kind of fine tuning this. And there's some helpful tips as well that are provided there. So lastly, workshop assignments typically will come in this sort of format. So they will always have a gray outline. There will always be a red box towards the bottom with instructions on how to submit. And that's whether it's what type of file, if it's a Word document or a, a, a notepad document, or if it's an image like a JPEG or a PNG file. Um, and also what, what you want to include in the file name, whether it's the date, your name, and the chapter title as well. And typically, in these applied practice sections, you're going to find instructions, you'll find uh, practice data and documentation. And if it's applicable, you'll find questions and optional challenges if you really want to push yourself. So that's an overview of the workshop. I hope you got the picture, and I'm really excited to see what you all can do when it comes to creating efficient, effective, and elegant data visualization.